Warm up done. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if you've watched some of my videos, you probably know I have this overly audacious goal of doing a sub 9 hour Ironman. Alright. So I figure to go sub 9 hours, I'm pretty much going to have to swim about 57 minutes for the 3.8 kilometers. I'm going to have to ride probably between 230 to 240 watts average, and I'm going to need to run a sub 3 hour marathon. Alright, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Now, if I'm going to have any chance of even going close to nine hours, I need to know where my fitness is now so that I know exactly what I need to work on moving forwards. And I figure, what better way to get a gauge of my Ironman fitness than to do an actual Ironman? Yeah, so you've got 38 laps. Now, the problem is, in all honesty, I can't really afford to fly all the way to the other side of the country and spend thousands of dollars on the race entry, travel and accommodation. So really, it only leaves me with one option, and that's to do a solo Ironman. And maybe just, if I kick off after 3.8k, to be stop, you're done. Now, if I'm going to do a solo Ironman, I want to use it as a chance to get some really good, accurate data in terms of where my fitness is right now. And it's kind of hard to capture reliable data when you're riding outdoors. So I figure, why not do an entire Ironman indoors? Yeah. Or just signal like 10 laps to go, maybe, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, here we go. He's away. Now I do have to give a shout out to my brother Elliot for some seriously dedicated videography during this swim. this one without a wetsuit on just because I want to be able to repeat this event throughout the future and I didn't want technological advancements to add anything to my time in the future so if I drop it back and just swim in the funky trunks that way I can guarantee that if wetsuits do improve in the future that's not the reason for my split yeah. as a competitive swimmer so when he gets in the water and swims next to me it really highlights the inefficiencies in my stroke. Coming in, 104.30, how are you feeling? It's not bad, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's really cold. <laughs> My hands are so numb. Yeah. Oh, very good, all right. Oh. My hands are probably frozen. Felt good, bud? Felt pretty good. Like, didn't struggle towards the end. Yep. Sort of aiming for like around 103, so 104.30 is not too bad. Yep. Only a little bit slower, but my hands like froze, I'm not Yeah. You know? Not cramping up? Not really, no. Because I've got all those tumble turns in there, I think it keeps my legs moving. Um, and I haven't had any like carbs really today, so that's a good sign. Like that I'm not cramping. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, legs are fresh. With me. I saw the, saw the breaststroke next to me, that was <laughs> good to keep the ego in check. <laughs> Magic. Oh. 
Shirts off. I mean, successful. This will not be the fastest transition time. No, we're, we're about seven or eight minutes, I think, now. Let's go. Where we go. Time is 1.15 on the stopwatch and 7.43 a.m. Nice. Or oh, was it like eight? Eight or nine minute transition? Uh, yeah, 11 minute transition. <laughs> Away we go. The music started. Pit stop number one. Can't pee on the bike. I could pee on the bike. You'd be very frowned upon. Point two kilometers now, so that's pretty good. It means I'll, at this rate, that's on track to finish just under five hours. I should do an extra K for good measure, but that's all right. We'll end it there and ride. See what the average was. 207 average. It's not bad. It's probably aiming for like 215, so it's like eight watts less. Here's some supporters. How's it going? Good. How are you going with it all? Good. Good. So it feels good to get the cleats off. It does feel good actually. And like honestly, my legs still feel pretty like fresh, so it must be nice. Could be could be improving my Must be nice to be fit. What made you decide to do this one? Just uh, I wanted to do, 
I wanted to do the Western Australian one last weekend, but can't really afford to <laughs> fly all the way to the other side of the country with a bike and do another race. So, typical Ironman entry is a thousand bucks, but this one costs about ten bucks worth of Gatorade and a few bananas. Is the only thing I've had to pay for this one. Keep it in shape. Getting ready for your next one. Yeah, next one in May. So this one, I'm going to get a heap of basically data points and try and figure out what I need to improve on for yeah, cool. next year. Where's your next one at? Uh, Port. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah sick. Yeah. I'll be there. Let's go. You probably. All right. What time are we getting on? Uh, Twelve fifty-six. Twelve fifty-seven thirty. Twelve fifty-seven thirty. Right on. I'm gonna do the first K at like five minute pace and then see how I feel. I might bump it up from there. Alright, we're going to all time out at two hours. So hopefully that only happens once. Do the first K at five minutes per kilometer and then just put it up to four thirty now. So we're settling into this pace. And then at this stage, I'm just gonna try and hold that for 41k and see if I can manage it. But I might have to drop it back, but I won't. Won't increase it until 30 or 32. I feel good then. Increase it, but otherwise, 430 is not for now. But I start to feel really bad on obviously side here. But this pace feels pretty comfortable. I'm not really going to look at my heart rate. I'm just going to run to like perceived effort. So let's see how we go. Before I drink And I'm so caught up in the news Of who likes me and who hates you And I'm so tired that I might Quit my job, start a new life And they'd all be so disappointed Cause who am I if not exploited And I'm so sick of 17 Where's my fucking teenage dream If someone tells me one more time Enjoy your youth, I'm gonna cry And I don't stick up for myself I'm anxious and nothing can help And I wish I'd done this before And I wish people liked me more All I did was try my best Oh, that's 
focus too easily. Nice. Boy, I hope I got that math right, otherwise I'm going to get home and add that up and be very annoyed. Should be right. Oh, ten, yeah, good idea. So, 21 degrees, 21.8 uh, degrees, 59% humidity, so that's pretty good. Oh, ice cream. Oh. Ice cream. No. <laughs> my things. Three marathons. Well, that wasn't enough. <laughs> what did you say? It doesn't count. That's a good day. Honestly, I prefer that to. I mean, I prefer doing it indoors to outdoors. Honestly, like that was because I had like friends and family stop by all day and talk oh, to Oh you can actually like it. talk to them yeah. yeah. So I enjoyed it. A few people messaged me like you must be crazy. Yeah. To do it. I'm like honestly I actually prefer it. It's more fun. And it was a lot easier than the Port Macquarie one. That, yeah. Which is like I don't know, maybe I'm a bit like I left a bit in the tank and that's kind of annoying but I don't know. It's not I certainly wouldn't have been able to run much faster like the last 8k, I was quite nice and cramped, but it's pretty good. That haircut is god awful. <laughs> you guys? I know it's horrible. If it was oh. half. <laughs> two? Two. From the one. side, if you want a vanilla or a chocolate. I get home on both. It was honestly quicker and easier than I expected. And yeah, it felt, didn't feel like it was great. It's like a long day. It was good. I, like, I, I feel like I could have gone faster. But especially the bike. Yeah. Probably not the run. But I mean, the bike was. It's, I was very hesitant on the bike. Like, I didn't want to push too hard because I was scared of the run. But I think one thing I need to work on is get, being like less fearless and not being afraid of the distance. Whoa. So inspirational. Well, I, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to say like it's an inspirational thing. Like I just mean like. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't mean like. Don't be afraid to go. I, mean, <laughs> I just mean like I need to go harder on the bike yeah. and not worry so much about the marathon. Yeah. Because I know I can run a marathon now. And that's probably the good thing about something like this is you kind of build the confidence to go, okay. And that, like even after the bike, like that's the fastest marathon I've ever ran. It was the second fastest half marathon I've ever ran. So, and I did two of them back to back. So like I can still run fairly well off the bike. Right? And that was a yeah, five, five hours, no, no, no rest, like no, no, spin, no. Yeah. So you went to the bathroom. Well, I went to the, ba <laughs> I went to the bathroom. That was that was my down there. Yeah. Oh, very good. Well, time to go home. We are first. That's good. Thank you. <laughs>